Welcome to Sense and Sense of Truth. I'm your host, Joe Bo, and I'm here to tell you, you're going to have a great time. It's going to be great. Anyway, so I want to get just straight to business. And what we are, we're going to interview some characters from the book Sense and Sensibility and just some certain situations. And our first contestant, Miss Dashwood, the mother of Eleanor and Miss Marianne Dashwood. She's like, kind of like the, the cool person in the book, you know, overlooked, but kind of cool. Tragic, tragic backstory. You're going to have to look it up someday. But anyway, we got her on camera right now, live. Don't miss it. Ashley, take it away, girl. So, Miss Dashwood, how do you truly feel about Willoughby? I personally think he is a great man. Strong, independent, loving, perfect for my daughter, honestly. Absolutely perfect. What daughter would that be? Ouch. Can't even remember her daughter's name. So you're wondering probably who's that Willoughby character. Well, we're going to discuss that a little bit later. He's kind of just a player. Anyway, our next contestant, Eleanor Dashwood. Really shy, subtle type girl. Anyway, we're going to go straight to her. So um, I believe Kate Holt, you got it. Take it away, girl. Okay, Eleanor. Do you think that it is your hair in Edward's ring that he has? I mean, I think so. It would make sense. Because I really do think he likes me, but he just doesn't want to admit it. But I don't know. So you're probably wondering what hair that was in that ring? Well, okay, for, first of all, Edward has this ring on his finger, has a lock of hair in the in the ring, literally in the ring. And no one knows whose hair it is. So Marianne Dashwood thinks that she knows the answer. That's Eleanor's because apparently they're a love interest. And, you know, it turns out to be another girl's hair. Uh, spoiler alert, you're going to find about we're going to find out about her in a future time. Uh, anyway, so we're going to go on to our next contestant, which is Miss Dashwood Marianne. Marianne, confused chick, kind of just like, you know, going with she's just bubbly, kind of goes with the, the punches, rolls with the punches. Uh, anyway, we're going to go to her. I believe, Ashley, you're interviewing her again, uh, or you're interviewing someone, you know, besides um, Miss Dashwood, the mom. So uh, take it away, girl. Marianne? Marianne! What? Um, so how do you feel about Willoughby? Is that Willoughby over there? Willoughby! See? Distracted. In fact, one more time in slow motion, please. That's hilarious. Anyway, we're going to go back to her, and she's up to something. This is live, live action. Marianne, check it out right here. He loves me not. He loves me. Again, that was nice live footage from Miss Marianne. Now we're going to take it to a devilishly, devilishly handsome guy. His name's Edward. He's in love with Eleanor. But you see, there's another person who we will reveal in the future that he's committed to. Tough stuff, people. So... We're going to go over and interview him, and he's kind of mixed feelings right now. Again, devilishly, devilishly handsome guy. Let's take it over to Edward. So, Edward, how do you feel about that certain ring that you have? Is it Eleanor's hair? Um, yeah. Uh, of course, it's not guaranteed, but 50-50 shot. Yeah. Do you even like Eleanor? Yeah, no, no. Yes, no. Uh, yeah, sure. Now, now we got the spoiler alert. All right. So, Edward, in love with Eleanor, but see, he's committed to another person. This happens to be Lucy Steele. 
Mm-hmm. Lucy Steele. Stealing away Eleanor's love. Anyway, what happens is outrageous. Anyway, so, like, Edward has his grandma, and she has, like, a lot of money. And he, uh, you know, the grandma is going to give the money to Edward if he marries someone of, like, noble birth or a woman with a lot of money. Anyway, Lucy Steele, penniless chick. Mm-hmm. Penniless. But, you see, Lucy Steele wants to, like, you know, get on Edward's grandma's side's favor. She, you know, she wants to be, like, liked by this grandma and all. So what happens is outrageous. So, like, Lucy Steele has this really talkative best friend. All of a sudden, blurbs out that they're engaged. And they, you see, Eleanor, no, no, not Eleanor, Lucy Steele, Edward have been engaged secretly for three years. Three years. So what happens? Grandma goes berserk mode. Unbelievable stuff, guys. So she's like, yo, Edward, you can't have my money if you're going to marry this terrible person. And you know what? He says, all right, then I'm going to stick to her. But you see, Lucy Steele hungry for money. Okay, so Lucy Steele's into volleyball, right? So this is like, imagine a volleyball is Edward, all right? And so Lucy Steele has a choice. I can keep this volleyball for myself. Or, I could do this. Watch, right now. Going live to Zion Christian Academy. Come on. All right, Miss Lucy steals the serve. She's got Edward in her hand. And uh, hits Edward across the face. What a beauty that was. And now, and now the little group's uh, getting together. I have no idea. Something weird like that. Well, Lucy Steele hit Edward across the face, slamming him to the other side. And, oh, poor little Edward trying to limp back to Lucy Steele to be accepted. Oh, no, she's going to do it again. Lucy Steele, no way! She's going for a double! Hits! Oh, she hits Edward across the face again! Unbelievable! All right, unfortunately, Colonel Brandon is not in town. He's a major character in the book, but we did manage to get a rare exclusive look at the, the most attractive man in the world, Willoughby. All right? So we're going to go to him live. All right, so Willoughby, you there? Yeah, I can hear you, man. I can hear you. Well, how you doing, man? How you doing? Oh, I'm doing good, man. Doing, doing great. Um, c recovering from my my wife beating for the day. She uh, took a club, just kind of smashed me a couple times. Uh, you were saying? Go ahead. So, uh, why the mask, man? I'm wearing the mask because it protects my identity. Like, uh. You didn't tell them who I was, right? No, I told them. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Um, I'm still keeping it on. It's comfortable. Uh, what is your question? So, Again? like, did you actually love Marianne? Ah, uh, yeah. Pistache would. Marianne was a cool girl, I mean, I guess. Um, to honestly, yeah, I loved her a little bit, but I was just kind of leading her on because I'm Willoughby, and I'm a player. And that's how it works. So uh, if that answers your question, I'm, I'm out. All right. All right. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment below. We know you guys were interested in this video. Anyway, it was pretty cool stuff. Well, or goodbye. Uh, Sense and Sense of Truth. We'll be back with Pride and Prejudice Truth next time. All right. Peace.